Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer World. Right now, we are still a monarch, of course, but we're going to the drop-off point that Catherine told us to go to. And I do want to say, before we get too far into the video, I appreciate everyone who subscribed to my channel and who watches this campaign. I've been noticing a few, just a few more subscribers on BitChute, and especially YouTube, but at least at the time of this recording. But, uh... I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed, and anyone that's also new to my channel, so thank you very much. It looks like there's a lot of dead people around here, and that's okay with me. Um, take everything that isn't nailed down. Oh, damaged auto-mechanical loader. Hmm. Let's see, speak to Huxley. We need to do that next. Pulse hammer. Ooh, dead body. I love dead bodies. That way they don't fight back at you. Is there like a trail? Blood? Hello? Oh! Smuggler tunnel. Hold on, before we finish, I want to go to that bin over there first. Uh-oh. Maybe it wasn't an animal attack. Maybe it was a smuggler attack. Or maybe it was an animal attack. I mean, that's a lot of blood. Thrown all over the place. Can't shoot that. If I touch it, will that kill me? Oh. Well, the mine was well. Oh, that's all you have to do? You just have to look for the, uh... Thingamabobs. Yep. There we go. What? Wait, I... that was an enemy? Alright, very nice. Oh, was it a... Oh, I just killed a family of sprats. Oh, you you saw nothing. This is not a murder. You saw nothing. Just in case. Oh, what happens if... Nothing. If I shoot it, nothing's going to happen. It's alright, I got plenty of ammo to do this. Uh... I don't trust this. I don't see anything. Oh, there's something over there. Something right there, maybe? No. Will this evaporate me? It might. But oh well. How, how big is this uh, place? I could go to the left, or I could go straight. Let's see. Well, I just keep... Oh my god, I killed four of them. I guess we're eating good tonight, guys. We're eating good tonight. Very good, very good. Oh, that's not good. Woo! Oh, wait, what? Oh. Sorry. I didn't mean to press Z. Sorry, Nyoka. Um. Sir. They'll heal up normally. A survivor. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. Arthur. How'd you get past my traps anyway? I got moves. Just remember, I still got bullets. In case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? Um, let me take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I knocked through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Dude, I killed like eight of them. You want some sprat? I got you some stuff, man. It's with all the traps. A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Um, what happened here? Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Do you think they're dead? The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Where'd they go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, 
I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. All right then. It's not stealing. Interesting. So the marauders came and just basically killed everybody and took stuff. Now I wonder if Huxley has a different version of the story. Maybe? Probably not. What I do know though is I need more lock picking skill just in case in the future. Oh. All right. Uh, sometimes my fingers press buttons that I don't want them to press. But things sometimes just happen. Right, not bad. A lot of stuff in here. A lot of supplies that I'm going to use and abuse, and I'm not going to sleep. I don't need sleep. I've got alcohol. Oh. Hello, you beautiful box. Purple berry punch. Let's see. Oh, we need to talk to him. Oh, wait. I thought we just talked to him. Speak to Huxley. Recover proof of Corporate presence on Monarch. Um, oh, it's... Wait, what direction am I facing? A little more left. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, okay. Whee! Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. Oh, is that a... Oh, it's just a light. Oh, yep, let's go to the wilderness now. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what Catherine is trading and how the marauders knew what she was trading um let's take a quick look up oh, i think i might be joined here by a cat of mine probably binky who's now sitting on my chair oh uh, bing 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 take a nap bing don't be too loud alright let's hit up the, the uh, mountainside you okay bink well, my other cat had to go to the uh, the vet today for a daily checkup. Oh, hello. And because of that, we had to bring the cage out. And the one thing that you need to know about Binky, besides the fact that he loves food, is he hates the cage. He will stay hidden under my bed, upstairs, away from where the cage is or where he thinks it is. He is deathly afraid of any sort of cage or container that could transport him away. I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. It's very fashionable, I swear. We gotta get over there, Captain. Maybe they're still alive. I think they just died. That ain't cool, man. Why are you blowing up scientists? They can help us do stuff on Monarch. I'm not even aiming in. Maybe I should aim in. Yeah. I could use and abuse those scientists for my own purposes. How dare you kill them? Oh, let's go upstairs. Hello. Yeah, maybe there's more inside. Break my legs? No, not this time. I'll take some dog meat. Basically, that's what that's what it is. And we'll spend a few more mag picks. Making it look easy. Quite a few bits. Oh. Scientist body. No one on that side. And a lovely container. Oh. Ammo, ammo. That's what you get, boy. Was there an enemy around here? Oh. Nyoka's not having a good time. Poor body should be able to take the other person out. Hopefully. Flamethrower, very nice. Loot, 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 loot. Weapon parts. Cigarette lighter. Always could use one of those. Oh, see, poor body got the job. Done, not. Okay, maybe she didn't get the job done. Well, we'll come back. Ooh. And do the terminal once we finish this area off. Let's go inside here. 
Loot is the most important thing to get. Never forget the loot. Bathroom? Nope. Hopefully no one pooped in there yet. There's a ring. Couple things. I'll come back to the terminal. Man, I do it now. Research data. Transfer files to me. Messages from Sanders. Miss Valdez. Blah, 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 blah. From Miss Valdez. Blah, 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 blah. That's an awful smell. From, of course, Miss Valdez. Alternate project. Come on, hack. Let's see how she likes these. Thunder Dog, Eggs Mayhem, Skunk Parade, F U Valdez, I Want My Rays. That's almost like a haiku. Almost. Not really. But close enough. Oh. Ammo? Oh, hi. Here we go. I got her. Don't Here mess with us. No, I wouldn't say I was too accurate. Too bad that these guys are all dead. They could have been put to good use. Doesn't pay to be a scientist, apparently. Oh. Adrino. Hmm. Wow, did they just like raid like a vending machine and just like put everything outside the vending machine or something? Speaking of vending machines, I could probably use a vending machine. Terminal? Research data. 14? We're not calling the project Sticky Bits. Oh. Trials, expensive equipment. Someone filed my underwear drawer with goop. Gloop. Hmm. Gloop guns. Unlock gloop gun containment unit. Uh, answer to get, get to safety. Hack? No, I don't have enough hacking. You are attending a company meeting at HHC headquarters in Byzantium. What is your priority? Protect the chairman, of course. You're pursuing one of our many UDL personal security mega outlets and enjoying the, our fine selection of employee compliance equipment. When you are approached by a stranger, he makes an offhanded comment that he could be construed as an indirect assault to Chairman Rockwell. Defend the chairman's honor. You and your spouse have a he healthy, loving relationship, but one day you discover that they have been reading unsanctioned stories to your children. Forbid your children from mentioning them again. Arrest your spouse and admit your children to a re-education program. Turn the stories into authorities and claim responsibility. I will arrest my spouse and admit your children to a re-education program. Ah, yes. See, I got all the right answers. What the heck is a gloop gun? Wow, we got a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm not even going to look at this stuff. I could really use a vending machine. I could really actually go back to the the unreliable and store some of these science weapons. I don't want to get rid of them. They're fairly valuable, but I don't want to lose it. Yeah, that probably would have been okay to keep. The gloop gun. Halted... The development was halted by one of its scientists working on it when it was killed by marauders. And the remaining team realized that no one understood her portion of the work. Alright, well, let's see what happens with it. Let's replace it with this. And we'll probably put the ultimatum away. Um, anything here interesting? 26 armor is pretty good. I'll probably sell all the armor. Yeah. Oh, bodies. Well, whatever. All right, so we've discovered that right now we're still doing errors unseen. We need to return to San Jar with a data cartridge. UDL has been secretly developing a crowd control gas on Monarch. And then speak to Huxley. Let's go speak to Huxley first. I believe that is in Amber Heights. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Wow, this is a weird gun. Look, almost looks like a engine. Uh, uh, I don't want to really get sell this stuff, but this stuff I will. Uh, sell all junk first. Wow, we got quite a few bits. I really wish it was a gambling place that we could go to to get rid of uh, some of our bits. Not really get rid of it, but you know, spend our bits appropriately. Um, you know what? I might just sell everything I have. Uh, if I'm not using it, maybe. Let's see what happens. 
I'll definitely use a rook bench here, though. Huxley! I could gloop you, but... Nah. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. All right, find your terminal. Fix it up for you. In Milton's place? Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Me and my diary have got some catching up to do. You made it back. How are you holding up? Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me, except being locked up. And how are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. Like your so, ankle? No runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Without the kicking, I guess. Huh? Why? Your leg? Oh, ha. You're funny. How'd you hurt your leg? Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up back good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Gotta watch out for them rocks. How long will we be out of commission? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Um... Well, I was hoping I could, like, fix her leg for her, but... Oh, well. Oh, I still need to speak to... Sanjar. Oh, wait. What? Speak to Huxley. I thought I just spoke to her. Ah, oh, hello. Good to see you again. I'm, I'm looking for chastity. Oh, she's such a gem. She gambles with me whenever I've got time to stop through Fallbrook. Ooh, I bet she's hiding. Says that when she owes people money. Yeah, I mean... I'll leave her be, though, if she doesn't want to be found. Oh, we mustn't let her hide let her hide from her problems. Upper cleans cleanse her spirit of the debts. Oh, you're right. We're always told to nice. cope with the materialisms and stuff. I ought to be helping her to come to the light. She's got a secret hideaway out in the middle of nowhere. I'll mark it on your map. It's pretty busy for an abandoned facility. Here, I want a key to the back gate off her, but I ain't going near that place. You're just giving away the key to a secret compound? Well, I ain't gonna use it. And ain't nobody gonna buy it if they don't know the place exists, so... <gasps> Besides, you help me, I help you. That's what friends do. Why'd she give it up? She was digging real deep for that game. I think it was about the last thing on her. Close or no? About the secret facility... Exciting, isn't it? Steeped in mystery. Anything I should know about it? Um, hmm. Oh, once she did tell me about this one time when she set off an alarm outside the back so everyone would clear out. Good to know. I don't remember why she did that. She was kind of drunk, though, so maybe she made that all up. Guards, maybe? You got me. If it's anything like the rest of Monarch, I'd take weapons with you just in case. All right, never mind. Okay. See you around. Oh, right, not bad. Well, we definitely have some information regarding here. Uh, let's see. We need to do this, but we'll do that eventually. The outpost, which we don't do on this planet. Lilia, which isn't on this planet. And then, that's not on this planet. That's not on this planet. And then, help broker the deal. Complete Bolt with his quest name. I need to complete Errors Unseen for Sandra to earn MSI's trust. We need to pay for the printer for Graham to earn the Iconoclast's trust. Well then, use a rear gate. Let's talk to the gambling buddy and see what happens. Um, yeah. Alright, so, I'm glad I actually came back over here, initially, so we could fast travel through here. The UDL lab. And maybe we'll find some enemies. I can use my gloop gun on people, too. Gate controls. Hmm. I love terminals. Unseal the door. Wow. Oh, this is the rear gate.
Well, okay. Oh, there's people here. Um, let's check the map real quick. So, wait. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't fast travel all near other people. Oh. Speak to Huxley. Use the rear gate. Okay. Don't want to get spotted too soon. Alright, I'm going to goop you, man. Gloop you. Whoa. Now that's kind of cool. That's actually really cool, but it doesn't have that much ammo in it. You've been scienced, son. You must pay for your sins. That's actually really cool. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna gloop you harder, boy. Very nice. I might stick with this weapon. It's a lot of fun. Nope, don't want to press caps lock. But... There doesn't seem to be very much around here. I think we might have been here before. But, yeah, I could attack this place and stuff, but... We could just go back to Sanjar. Interesting. If I ever play this game again, and I probably will, I might just kill all, like, all the Iconoclasts or all the Stellar Bay people. Or just kill everyone. To spare no survivors. Oh wait, I wanted to go to the workbench. That's right. I almost forgot. I couldn't even remind myself to do this. Oh, we can't modify it. Well, that's alright. Let's go ahead and repair. See if we need to repair things. Takes four weapon parts. We've just barely used it. Alright, let's go repair it. Who cares? Nine? Ah, that sounds good to me. Sure, why not? Not that stuff. Armor-wise... Eh, do it, why not? Ah, screw it. We'll do it. 20, let's upgrade the... This one's already fully upgraded, which is nice. Level 17. Level 20. I'm going to upgrade this one. In which we already installed a bigger magazine size, I think, on this. Fun times barrel. Yeah, I'll give him that. Maybe not. Magazine size. I think we... Maybe we haven't upgraded this one. Ooh, corrosion damage? Type end rate, minus 50% damage. That's not good. Mag to zap, mag to power. Magazine size. This might not be good for it. That's, oh, that's, that's for 300, 600, 75. I don't want to invest too much into a single gun. Just give me that then. I'll save some of these modifications for the final uh, gun that we use in this campaign. Weapon sight for more range. I don't like that. Let's do that. And armor. Huh. Asbestos. Not bad. Actually. Actually, hold on. My current armor is this. Parvati has some armor. Yeah. And, oh, she needs a helmet. Oh, I don't even have a helmet for her. That's not good. Modify the armor piece. So we could do this. More armor rating, sure. If you install this modification to this slot, the current one will be destroyed. Oh, we can't do that. That's okay. This one's worth 600! Restore some of your TDT meter. I'm going to save that one well as well. Uh, ranged weapon skills. Uh, di wow. Dialogue and leadership skills. Tech skills. Melee and defense. Well, I'm not using too much melee weaponry. Silver tongue sounds pretty good. Yeah. And then let's do... Volume of footsteps. That's okay. Backpack. I like the backpack one. Oh, but even more range. We're doing okay on backpack. Let's do this one. And I don't want to use that one just because... Yeah. Thinker. Modify breakdown. Did I just... Install something on here? Hmm... I just repaired it. Let's not, let's not get rid of it just yet. All right, Sanjar. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? What drugs do you have? I mean, I found a data cartridge. 
Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Hmm, what are these reformations you're talking about? You're gonna reform reformat everyone's files? That's just cruel and inefficient. I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. What's going to happen to the people here when the board figures out what you're doing? Well, by that point, my hope is that we'll be on the board once more. I'm just... Maybe I'm worrying too much, but it seems the folks here get plans made for them an awful lot. When do they get to start making plans for themselves? Once MSI is restored, the people of Monarch will be able to make more choices. We'll have all the brands and resources of the board here. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. Oh, um, that's just what I call my left nut. There you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. Wow. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcast from us. Good. Very nice. Oh, I'm graced by a level up. And now I can go back to the broker. Things are just coming together, guys. Um, oh, elite troop armor? Oh, that, I didn't know that actually hurt me. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Well then. I mean, with the bonus support lie... And everything here for now. I don't really need to upgrade lie too much. Intimidate. I want more hack now. Definitely want more of this. I don't care about sneaking very much at all. Hmm. I like the medical stuff. I really actually I've I've really started liking the medical stuff quite a bit. But terrified creature movement speed, scrambled, auto mechanicals attack at their normal speed. Scramble chance. Probably maybe a little bit more intimidate. Yo, it's only at 45 because of elite armor. Yeah, let's go ahead and apply that there. And we get another perk. I love perks. Science weapon damage. Headshots. That's not bad. Companions to revive. I like that one just because you can revive your companions and then they could be like bait for enemies to attack again. Guaranteed crit hit. Da -da -da. Damage. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Local region. Uh, Devil's Peak Summit. Ooh, Miracle on the Frontier. Deserters forced to return by heroic stranger. The Salvation of Emerald Vale. The Halcyon Observer. Let's get to the broker. Okay, they're mechanicals. And Hudson. Oh, when you go left. You know, I, I remember now when this game like first came out and stuff. You could kill everyone but, like, Phineas. That's what, basically what we learned. I could kill everyone, but how would you go around this story? Hmm. I don't know. I might have to try a future campaign on that. Probably will. Oh, transition. Oh, okay. So maybe I should have just transitioned straight into the station, then. What hell am I to know, right, Bink? Alright, let's make our way up. The elevator. Oh. Okay. And they're right in here with me. Parvati, you're looking a little scary there. Not gonna lie. I prefer Nioka because you can at least see her face. She's a little bit more approachable. Ah, the dead bodies. I love them. Very nice, very nice. Ah, that mercenary guard. I miss this. Ah, I'll take the vodka. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. I'd like to secure some information. They're no longer transmitting. 
Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Uh, Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? I helped both of them get what they wanted. I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. All right, he doesn't trust many people. How do he hook up with you? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh, oh, apologies. You meant, right. Yes, I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Ah. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. All right. How to fix it? It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. That's it? You're not pulling my leg? Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, I am not mocking you. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. Hmm. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. If that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. All right. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. I'm a little worried that I might get ele electrocuted. Um, yeah. Maybe I should take some drugs before I do this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Maybe I should take drugs and not do it. Hmm. All right, well. Uh-oh. Cutscene? Testing one, two, check, check. Mr. House? Oh. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly beg you to get out of my tower. Would you kindly? Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Captain! Big flaming thingy! Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh! Is that my ship? Hope not. There's really not many cutscenes in, cut in this game. Hmm. Black holes. Big ball of fire? Nope. Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Uh-oh. Oh, well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Oh, you Sanjar, what'd you do? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI, or did MSI not cease broadcasting? It's a reunion group hug. Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Alright, we could probably talk this over. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. 
Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Mm. You're telling me. I'm going to have to make a decision here. But first, I'm going to break my legs. Darn it. Oh, oh, I almost thought I was going to break them there. Whatever. Uh, do I have to make a choice? Hello, Joy. Oh, not all of you died. Okay. Just most of y'all did. Uh, we're going to have to make a choice with the targeting module system, but... Well, I'm not really sure who to choose. Should I choose the Iconoclasts? Or should I choose... A stellar Bay. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to wait for your answers in the comments below if anyone does decide to comment. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I'm going to leave it there for today. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below, and I will catch you all tomorrow as I await potentially one, two, or several of your comments about what I should do next. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great day.